It's clear to say Eminem is one of the greatest rappers of all time. But with so much controversy and pettiness Eminem has, he developed multiple beefs in his career. In 2002, Eminem was not amused when his album The Eminem Show received a rating of only 4 mics out of 5 in The Source magazine. And M knew who to blame, The Source's co-founder, Boston rapper Benzino. M began taking jabs at The Source and refused to be interviewed by the mag. This inspired Benzino to drop some bars aimed at Slim Shady, kicking off a series of diss tracks exchanged between the rappers. The beef kept on with both parties trading jabs for much of the early 2000s. However, things peaked when Benzino used his own magazine to smear Eminem. Benzino got his hands on an unreleased record titled Foolish Pride that featured a teenage Eminem using racist remarks against black women. Eminem would apologize for the record, but Benzino was eventually fired from the source for his questionable practices. In 2012, Benzino finally apologized for targeting M. Eminem became embroiled in Ja Rule and 50 Cent's beef when he signed 50 to his Shady Records imprint in 2002. At the beginning, M stayed on the sidelines of beef between the two. That is, until Ja mentioned his daughter Haley in his song Loose Change, rapping, M, you claim your mother's a crackhead and Kim is a known slut. So what's Haley gonna be when she grows up? M, you claim your mother's a crackhead and Kim is a known slut. So what's Haley gonna be when she grows up? Naturally, M hopped in the studio to record a series of diss tracks like Haley's Revenge, Bully, and Hail Mary. In short, Eminem won the beef as Ja Rule's career went up in flames. However, in his 2004 single, Toy Soldiers, M was uncharacteristically introspective about his victory. He said, even though the battle was won, I feel like we lost it. I spent so much energy on it. Honestly, I'm exhausted and I'm so caught in it. I almost feel I'm the one who caused it. Throughout his career, Eminem has referred to an alleged relationship with Mariah Carey. In a 2002 interview with Larry King, Mariah denied ever dating M, saying she only hung out with the rapper and spoke to him a total of four times. Eminem responded in a petty way by rapping about her on his anger management tour and playing private voice notes the singer had allegedly left him. Things really came to head when Carey married Nick Cannon in 2008, when M unleashed bagpipes from Baghdad, in which he attacked the new couple. She didn't let that one slide, surprisingly responding with the track, Obsessed, and music video which sees her being stalked by an Eminem look-alike. Unfortunately, things didn't end there. Eminem fired back with another scathing record, The Warning. Nick initially came into the crossfires of his then-wife's beef with Eminem. However, the comedian and, I guess you can say, rapper, made things personal when he brought up the disagreement again ten years later on the Expeditiously podcast. This is when M dropped his Lord Above verse. Shortly after, Nick Cannon took to his radio show to declare the diss not worthy of a response, before responding with The Invitation, a desperately bad diss track in which he would ultimately lose in this beef. Now Joe Budden never had any real trouble with Eminem until M's 2017 album Revival. Even before it was released, Budden went in on the tracklist, saying, The tracklist, without the benefit of a doubt, appears to be utter garbage. He went on to call the single Untouchable Trash and one of the worst songs I've ever heard. I've never got in a fucking interview and been like, Joe Button shit is fucking trash. Now that last album he put out is fucking trash. Kamikaze is like, all right, what if I give everybody my opinion about them? In response, Eminem fired some subliminal shots at the one-hit wonder rapper on the song Chloroseptic, saying, y'all saw the track list and had a fit before you heard it. Then in August 2018, Eminem dropped his surprise album Kamikaze, dissing Button on the track The Fall, pulling no punches, he called out Budden by name, bringing up his failed rap career and domestic violence allegations. Budden issued his response in a three-hour-long podcast, claiming, I've been better than you this entire decade. The rappers never really resolved their feud, but Joe gives praise to Eminem every once in a while on his podcast. Again, if there's anything we have learnt from all of this, it's that you shouldn't mention Eminem's daughter. It appears Machine Gun Kelly didn't get the memo. What I think of the Marshall Mathers OP too? Um... I'm, I'm still scared to listen to it. I'm scared to listen to it because that's my idol. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, that's my idol and uh, I, I feel like he's, he said all he has to say, you know what I'm saying? So if, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, of course I'm gonna love anything he does, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I would hope people would be the same with me, you know what I'm saying? In a since deleted tweet, the rapper referred to Haley as hot as fuck. Following the incident, M hit back with not alike off Kamikaze, and allegedly took part in having MGK music banned from several media outlets. At least that's what MGK alleges in his scathing track Rap Devil, 
where he raps, Let's talk about the fact you actually blackballed a rapper that's twice as young as you. Let's call Sway. Ask why I can't go on Shade 45 because of you. In an interview with Sway, Eminem responded to MGK's allegations. One day, you know you go down the fucking wormhole of YouTube and whatever, right? <laughs> so I see Machine Gun Kelly talks about Eminem's daughter, whatever, right? So what the fuck? Click on it. Like, yo, why is he? Then he starts doing a, a press run, basically, about Haley. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, my man better yeah. chill, right? So that's not why I dissed him. The reason I dissed him is actually a lot more petty than that. Okay. The reason that I dissed him is because he got on, first he said, first, first when he said, I, I'm, a, I'm the greatest rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45 or whatever he said, right? Like I'm trying to hinder his career. So I don't give a fuck about your career. You think I actually fucking think about you? You know how many fucking rappers that are, are better than you? You're not even in the fucking conversation. I don't care if you fucking blow or if you don't blow. It doesn't matter to me. Following the interview, M shot back with a merciless diss track titled Kill Shot. With cover art featuring MGK, the track went in on everything from the rapper's lack of commercial success, his man bun, and his ex-girlfriend Halsey. MGK and M exchanged a few more light jabs, but on Eminem's surprise 2020 album, Music To Be Murdered By, the Detroit rapper buried the hatchet saying that he was moving on from the beef on the track, unaccommodating. In conclusion, every beef Eminem has encountered, it would seem he would win in the end. Do you think him will ever take a L in a rap beef one day?